Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher, and today we're going to take a look at the tangle Hello from CCT Teresa Fessler. I'm 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 just guessing that's how it would be pronounced. All right. So I've been kind of on a steampunk uh, theme lately since we uh, on uh, Thursday launched or uh, premiered the Tangle Starpunk, which was really neat. And this one had caught my eye some time ago and then I had to find it again. And I'm like, oh, this is great. And, um, and it would fit in nicely with that category. It's really neat in any case even if, if you don't like the you know the steampunk kind of thing i never did really or I, I shouldn't say i never did i was like oh that's interesting and that was about it but after doing this tangle I'm like oh and then i still want to find some uh find some uh friends to go with it so so this is neat and i do like doing them on the diagonal so i'm gonna do it all right if you have ever done the tangle laced it's one of my favorites. Um, this makes me think of it in these first, uh, just the first couple, sort of couple steps. Uh, it kind of has that theme. So if you have done that tangle and like it, then you're going to love this. All right. Starts off with two lines. Then we're going to, we're going to draw kind of like an oval, but we're going to go behind this part. All right, so it's not necessarily well. You can you can have it go as uh, uh, have it be as thick as the word in my head. It's probably not the right word, but you can have this you know be however it's going to be, and then seeing the rest, then then you get to play and have as much fun as you want. So like this, and so what you want to do is thinking halibut. So you know, as you saw, I came around like this, and then you know try to line it up with that, you know, the other side. Then, on the outsides of what we just did here, on, the, on this little curve, we're going to make a straight line. On this one, straight line. And then on the bottom, another curve line. Then, an, a more halibut. So, picturing, you know, where this is, you know, as if it's going behind. And then continue that line and actually that should meet there that would be helpful okay so saying that i'm going to add it doesn't have to <laughs> so and if you look at my my step out sometimes it doesn't and it's okay all right so and then it's the same idea throughout you know and you know here's what i'm going to do with this um is I'm going to share just a couple things. Now, if, if yours ends up a little wonky like this, there's a couple things you can do. Number one, you can leave, if you want to leave that open, you can, or you can fill it in. And I'll do it, I'll do it afterwards. Now, in the description section, you will find links to my version of the step out, as well as a link, and I call it for more inspiration. So when you see that, click that link underneath there, it'll take you to uh, Teresa's, uh, to her step out to her page and what you want to look at i mean besides out of interest looking at her how she did the step out but looking at her artwork because there are some amazing variations that that you can do for instance so like this one i'm, just, I'm gonna have this one kind of come out at some angle like this like that And why not, um, we can decorate this. Well, it's a little off. Oh, but, well, no, I guess it doesn't matter. It's okay. Oh, but wait. But wait. Let me think. I can fill in the center. <laughs> well, let's not worry about it. This is supposed to be a quickie. All right. But then you can just, so I'm just going to draw some straight lines. I'm not going to worry about what that looks like. This, I did a little, well, just the, I'm going to fill those in because I only did two. You can leave like a little shine in there. But here we can fill this in like so. And then once you fill it in, then you could, 
you know, if you need to reshape it, you can and make them, you know, a little more even. Whatever you want. And then it's the same idea here, you know, coming down. Now, as you do this, of course, you could um, have it go at an angle. You could have it curve, whatever you want to do. Okay, this one, let's do it again. And something else I saw interesting on hers where she kind of had a a double one up here. So let's do that. And if you get like, the, you know, here where, the, oh, that doesn't meet or something is a right, same thing with the fill-in. That is your go-to course corrector for anything. And let's see. Oh, let's just do this one. Let's do this one. Oh, okay. We're going to do it kind of angled. Because that's how it ended up looking. All right. And then. <clears throat> and we can curve it a little bit if we want to. And then tangle, right? We can do whatever it is that we want to do with it. It's a lot of fun. Like so. Then. Uh, you can have fun shading them like so you could do decorations on them you know what let's do oh let's do this let's make this thicker and then i can even it out i don't have to get it right sometimes you know if something goes awry don't worry about fixing it right away because sometimes an idea may pop into your head at any point so don't don't stress about it that, that that's the the thing about zen tangle that's part of the zen right is we want to uh not worry about stuff and i i you know have a have a light attitude and i like to laugh and have fun with this because um some of us that have probably have a little bit more perfectionistic uh <laughs> tendencies uh need to laugh at ourselves and and not take ourselves all too serious and sometimes laugh and have fun oh let me show this so here's here's some ideas on these ones that are round you could do the little um kind of sort of curve little hash line hash marks like so if you add just a little bitty curve to them it kind of helps or like this it you know it's angled i always think that that's neat it just makes it look kind of old worldy oh let's fix this let us fix this here i didn't realize it was oh there wow sometimes it just pops out of focus all right or it might have been the whole time and I just didn't notice. All right. And I apologize for that. Um, but this is it in a nutshell. Now, if you, uh, as I was starting to do shading, this is kind of shading with the pen. But here's what you can do. If you want, um, depends on, on what you want. If you want to make this like a, like a tube, you can, you, um, you can put graphite on just one side or I'm putting it on both sides here. Depends on how thin or thick your your tube is and then just and i'm not even really spreading it out i'm just using yeah just just what i have oh let me dim this a little bit um and then it's gonna adjust and then it's gonna adjust <laughs> okay let me put a little bit more on these sides here like I already have some gradient and I could just go a little darker let's go up here come on let's ah yes and so that it gives it then it gives it a rounded effect what's also neat is if you do that on uh what what looks like you know, it's either a tube or a cord or something, whatever, you know, your take on it is. And it's kind of interesting leaving these without shading, but with um, pen shading. That's kind of neat. So up to you, of course, do take a look at the For More Inspiration link uh, so you can be uh, more inspired and see the different, um, I mean, because these kind of look like beads, you know, or connectors. It, it's just going to depend on what you do and how you do it. But do take a look at that so that way you can get some brilliant ideas. 
and uh, what a fun tangle, really. All right, so if you enjoyed this, would love to have a thumbs up or a like. Feel free to share it. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I would love to have it uh, have you be a subscriber. Of course, that is free. And uh, all of those things help me out with, you know, algorithms and, and whatnot. Um, it, it comments also uh, apparently help that. So um, would love to have you do that. Also, below the links to the step, out, step outs in the description section are ways to connect with me if you so choose. I, we have a nice, if you're on Facebook, we have a great Facebook uh, community on there. The link is there. My website link is there also. So if you would like to uh, attend some of the, the live sessions that I do, I have some, a lot of them that are free and I do have a couple that uh, are paid. So you can take a look at that information on my website. If you have questions, of course, you can connect with me through there. And with that, thanks so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.